Welcome to another movie plot. Enjoy the memories and watch out for spoilers. In the third millennium, the Earth's transformed into a toxic desert known as the Cursed Earth. The east coast of North America formed into a single settlement known as Mega City One, where law and order quickly became a thing of the past. From the chaos an elite police force called the Street Judges emerged to act as judge jury and executioner, catching criminals dictating sentences and executing punishments all in one go. At the halls of justice senior judges on the Council of Five no longer work the streets and instead focus on academics. Chief Justice Fargo set the standard for judges, and refuses to entertain Judge Griffin's request that lesser crimes be met with harsher punishments. The film begins with a prison transport returning to Mega City One where a group of parolees disembark. Herman returns home after serving a six-month sentence and is put into a housing project called Heavenly Haven. The mega cities are shown to be divided with the rich living above never having to even step foot on the earth, while the poor live on the streets in dangerous neighborhoods that frequently see vicious riots. Herman enters his new home and is instantly taken hostage by a crew of outlaws who have set up their command post inside. The warlord and his gang are in the middle of a block war with their rivals across the street, and orders Herman to pass them ammunition during the fight, as two street judges respond to the call. They're immediately pinned down by gunfire so Judge Hershey calls for backup, the blueprint to which all other judges are themselves judged, dread. The most famous of all the street judges announces his arrival, before informing his co-workers that bullets pose no lethal threat to them from that range, despite two seconds ago showing us this poor bastard being lit up from the same range. They begin their assault on the building, where Dredd easily dispatches the gangsters with Hershey and the rookie unable to even keep up, so the new guy rushes ahead to the command post and is mowed down immediately. One of the killers retrieves his dropped weapon when its defense mechanism electrocutes him. As Dredd begins to give his voice-controlled lawgiver two orders, switching between rapid fire, armor piercing, and double whammy rounds, leaving only the warlord alive. Reciting all the years he will serve for his breaches of Mega City Municipal Code, the warlord draws his gun knowing what's coming but is beaten to the draw by Dredd, who passes the sentence of death for the murder of his fellow judge. While Hershey mourns for the dead rookie, Dredd claims there should be laws against emotions, before finding Herman having hidden himself away in a service droid to escape the warlord. Dredd charges him for tampering with the machine and gives him another five years as a repeat offender, saying that he should have jumped out the window 40 floors to escape as at least that would have been legal. Reporting back to his mentor at the Halls of Justice, Dredd tells Fargo that the executions were unavoidable which his friend trusts to be true, but is ordered to teach ethics at the academy in hopes of preventing him from descending into madness. Over at the Aspen Penal Colony where Herman will be returning, Warden Miller visits a high-security cell housing a disgraced judge named inmate Rico. He gives him a box from an unknown benefactor which contains his old badge and a picture of a target, before turning into a small pistol which Rico uses to shoot Miller through the throat with. The voice-controlled defenses aren't able to indicate Miller's voice and shoot him down, as the guards arrive too late and are subsequently slaughtered by the convicted killer. At his first day at the academy, Dredd showcases to the cadets the capabilities of the Lawbringer II in the judge's vehicle of choice the Lawmaster, and tells them how little it all matters compared to the code. Hershey confronts Dredd about his morbid outlook but he tells her that she's only been on the street for a year and will be exactly the same given enough time. When asked about relationships he tells her he was once forced to judge his only friend when he turned to a life of crime. Rico escapes from Aspen inside a body bag and strolls through Mega City 1 before going to a pawn shop. The owner retrieves a box set aside containing a lawgiver that Rico's told not to touch due to the booby trap, but he picks it up and shoots the man dead as he's the one it belongs to. He finds an antique combat droid called an ABC Warrior and reactivates it, giving it the order to be his personal bodyguard with the prime directive of war. That night at his apartment, a reporter named Hammonds with his wife discussing how he's going to bring down the council of judges, when a judge bursts in and kills the two wearing Dredd's apparel. The next day Hershey's charging a man with reckless driving when he begins to try to pay her off. Dredd hears this and finds the man guilty of bribing an officer with the punishment being the destruction of his vehicle. Suddenly a capture team approaches Joseph and arrests him for the crime of murder, where he's put on trial for killing the Hammonds and chooses Hershey to represent him. Having passed top of her class in law she successfully has the evidence dismissed as circumstantial since Dredd can't be positively identified. However Judge Magruder reveals that all Lawgiver 2 pistols capture the DNA of the person who fires it, and the DNA from the rounds used in the crime are a match for Dredd. Fargo overcome with guilt at seeing his greatest student sentenced to death, is convinced by Griffin to retire and take what the judges call the long walk into the cursed earth. With this he's able to request the final order that Dredd's sentence be lenient due to his years of loyal service, which the new Chief Justice Griffin agrees on, then gives Dredd a life sentence the moment Fargo walks off. Dredd is stripped of his garb and sent away, as Fargo is honorably sent on the long walk into the desert to die.
where he'll take a shotgun and a copy of the municipal code to teach the outside savages the meaning of law. When Griffin returns to his office he's confronted by Rico and his in-your-face security. Griffin's the one who helped Rico escape and who also had Dredd and Fargo framed, and even initiated the block war that ruined poor Herman's life. All to convince the Justice Council to reinstitute something called the Janus Program, which Rico seems passionate about. While on the shuttle to Aspen, Dredd sat next to the wrongfully convicted Herman who recognizes him. They argue briefly when Dredd claims that the law doesn't make mistakes, as Herman reminds him of where he's sitting right now. Below them on the cursed earth, a family of religious fanatics called the Angel Gang use a rocket launcher to blow the shuttle out of the sky. When a recovery team shows up at the crash site Dredd's already missing, and under Griffin's orders they kill any survivors. Dredd and Herman are the only people who escape but are strung up by the middle son meme. The father of the family Elmer identifies Dredd and thinks him sent to them by God, he introduces his youngest son Junior when Herman proclaims himself a believer in an attempt to escape. The eldest son Link cuts him down when Dredd tells Herman that the angels actually eat believers. Elmer turns Mean's dial up and tells the once kind child to finish Dredd, when he slips out of the restraints and fights back. He disarms Junior and breaks his neck then shoots Link with the gun and turns Mean off. When Elmer leaps at Dredd he's shot dead by the arriving capture team. But Dredd quickly takes one's weapon and shoots all other four approaching. One rises back up but Dredd's saved by Fargo who just happened to be passing by, but before they can have a reunion he gets run through the back by Mean Machine. Dredd begins to battle the beast and eventually slips a strike causing Mean to get his cyborg arm trapped in a wall, then citing illegal use of city electricity as the violation, executes the criminal with his own power source. Meanwhile Hershey conducts her own investigation of Dredd's conviction and finds a photo of him with his family, as well as with Rico at the academy. She takes the first to Cadet Olmeyer who finds that everything in the photo's been forged except for Dredd himself. As Fargo succumbs to his wounds, he tells Dredd that Janus is a cloning program that created him using Fargo's own DNA, and that Rico is a clone also but somehow mutated into the perfect criminal. He always assumed Rico was executed at Aspen but deduces that it must have been his DNA on the murder weapon not Dredd's, and that Griffin must have been behind it. Before dying. Standing before Lady Liberty with his shotgun, Dredd vows to return to Mega City and stop his brother from restarting the Janus project. Meanwhile Rico's appointed Dr. Hayden as his assistant for when the council's convinced to unlock the Janus program, and his reign of chaos begins to target judges themselves both on the street and in the halls of justice. Once his ABC robot hits the streets doing what he does best and Hershey has a close call with an explosive planted on her lawbringer, council judges Carlos and Silver agree with the rest to unlock the Janus program, planning on cloning fully mature judges to replenish the 96 that Rico just killed. Successful in his deceit, Griffin reveals to the council that they have just sealed their fate, as Rico enters the room and murders the entire council. Outside the city walls, Dredd and Herman use a heat vent in the side to make it in, running through during a 20-second window before dropping down into the waste disposal. They sneak into the halls of justice where Dredd knocks out a teammate and steals his uniform, but as they walk towards their target the famous officer is recognized and cover blown. He bursts into the council chamber and finds them murdered with Rico standing over them. After a brief standoff where Joe fails to bring himself to shoot his own brother, he tries to arrest Griffin for his crimes but the cunning man shoots himself in the arm and frames Dredd for the murder of the council. Dredd manages to shoot his way out of the building, and uses a faulty lawmaster requiring a hit to get started to blow a hole out of the side and escape. Three officers chase the two through the city where Herman finally gets his first kill, when he fails to work the shotgun but indirectly sabotages a pursuer's bike. He drifts into a retracting billboard while the second just doesn't pull up in time. The final guy just has Dredd jump onto his lawmaster and throw him off, then the two take the bike and fly to Hershey's apartment. They find the place ransacked but Hershey's still alive and on edge, as now they're up to 108 dead judges. He tells her everything about her brother's plan including the cloning being the reason for him showing no emotion, but Hershey assures him he did that part to himself as Joe almost cracks a smile. Herman tells them that he can't locate the Janus on any computer, but Hershey having detected a power surge earlier from the Statue of Liberty suggests they search there, where Rico is currently starting the machine and replacing Fargo's DNA with his own. Griffin enters the lab and finds Rico enacting his evil plan, as he proclaims that the new generation of judges will be his brothers and sisters, while Dr. Hayden is shown to now be fully on board. Before Griffin can do anything about it, the ABC robot is ordered to dismember him but leave the head for last. Herman's told to go home by Dredd but says he wants to stay, as Hershey convinces the judge that maybe he's lucky. They search around the base of the statue, when the combat droid comes out of the shadows capturing Hershey and shoots Herman in the stomach. Dredd engages in a shootout with it when Rico enters threatening to have Hershey torn to pieces. Being taken into the lab, Rico unveils the first batch of his clones nearly completed in just two hours. 
He explains his plan to create a race of judges that will do only as they are told and offers to put Dredd in charge of the council. When he refuses to join, Rico orders the ABC bot to rip Hershey apart, when it begins to act up knocking Rico and Hayden to the ground. Ripping the machine's wires out when it turned its back on him, Herman eventually destroys the monstrosity as Hershey begins to fight the doctor. Dredd chases Rico down who runs through the laboratory and orders the clones to be woken up early. They begin to come to life as Hershey defeats Hayden with a headbutt and the two brothers begin to fight. After a back and forth of fisticuffs, Rico retrieves his pistol and misses Dredd with it, destroying the lab along with all of the clones. Fleeing to the top of the statue Rico attempts to escape on his lawmaster but is thrown off by Dredd, where the two begin to fight again when Dredd is knocked off the edge. Hanging above the city, Rico begins to pass judgment on Dredd for betraying his best friend years ago. Before he can pass the sentence of death, Dredd grabs the lawgiver and distracts Rico with a flare, then throws him off the edge to his death. Just then Dr. Hayden shows up but is instantly shot dead by Hershey, who helps her partner to safety. The three emerge victorious and are greeted as heroes by the remaining judges, who ask Dredd to be the new chief justice in starting the new council. He refuses the offer preferring to work the streets and begins putting his gear back on, as Herman's wheeled away to the hospital. Hershey assists with the helmet and the two kiss, as Dredd rides away on his lawmaster cracking a smile. And the movie ends. I am the law! Mr. I am the law! So you made it. I appreciate your time. I couldn't have done it without you. Tell your mother I said thanks. <laughs>